I am Dan Ackerman. Welcome back to a CNET CES tradition. It's our coolest laptops of the show chat show where we get the best stuff from CES, line them all up, and talk about laptops and tablets and hybrids. I'm very excited this year to be joined by Ziamara Blanco and Josh Goldman. Uh, we got three people and a lot of laptops to talk about. Uh, let's just jump right into it. I think one of my favorite things I saw was a Chromebook, and Chromebooks can be kind of boring sometimes. This is the new uh, Samsung Chromebook Pro and or Plus. They have two versions, the Pro and the Plus, and they actually look identical. It's a kind of a higher end version of a Chromebook because it's got a touch screen and a metal body and a 360 degree hinge. And the difference between the Pro and the Plus is uh, one is an Intel processor, one has an ARM processor, which is interesting because you don't see that outside of a couple of Chromebooks in, in the laptop field. Uh, and I like that um, it'll run Android apps right. from the Google Play Store because it's built around that. And I feel like Chromebooks are kind of limited, you know, people feel like they're, they're kind of the boring low-end laptop and people are now making higher-end ones and I think adding Android apps makes up for the fact that you can't, you know, run other stuff. But I think price is pretty important with the category. I don't know how much of these yeah, can be. This is like foreign change uh, for the ARM version, the Intel version might be a little bit more. So you're yeah. getting up to kind of that premium price there. I will show you one bonus you get here. Tilt it for me and then you click right here and you get a oh. stylus and that works on the screen. It works with Google Keep and things like that. So that's probably the coolest Chromebook I've seen here. Has uh, there been any other Chromebooks here? There are a handful, but I don't think anybody has like this Nothing kind of set of, of features. And I know that uh, ZMR really like this guy. What is this? Yeah, this is the Asus ZenBook uh, 3 Deluxe. And I really like it. I use a MacBook Air for work, but this feels just like it. It's super light. It has uh, three USB-C ports, two which work as a Thunderbolt ports. Um, and I just really like the way it looks. I think it's super cool and sleek. Um, it's really got the aesthetics down. Good. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I got a little bit of a mic adjustment there. Um, yeah, no, it's great. Um, and then the other thing about it, right, is the, uh, the screen, right? Right. It's got, it's, it's a 13-inch laptop with a 14-inch screen, yep. which sounds impossible, but it's really not. Yeah, and that compares well with the ThinkPad, right? Uh, that's true, So we that's got the ThinkPad true. over there. Lenovo always brings a ton of laptops here, and this is one of our favorites. It's the ThinkPad X1 Carbon, is that it? Right, um, two and a half pounds, uh, just over a half an inch thick. Um, mainly made for business, but we like them. Uh, they do so good much crossover they, stuff yeah, there. You know, you can get crossover. their business stuff and use them just as a regular home laptop. And right. they're some of the best ones, really. And this one too has the almost no bezel on it, so you get the full 14-inch display mm -hmm. in a tiny 13-inch like body. Just like the XPS uh, 13 line does the same yeah. thing with the thin bezel. Um, and then we, uh, it also uh, Windows Hello. It seems oh. to be big this year, right? Windows Hello. You get the IR camera, Cameras and you look at you so and the you just have right to, in. Right. So um, very secure, and this has uh, mobile broadband too. If you or traveling around. Very cool. A little bit bigger uh, in, the, in the hybrid space, you usually don't see a big hybrid like this with a 15-inch screen. It's the HP Spectre X360 15-inch edition. And when you go like this, uh, you know, it gives you a nice kind of portable, almost TV screen quality to it. And the difference between this one and last year's, and I'll fold it down to a, a tablet shape for you, is they actually made it a little bit thicker than the previous version of this. And that's because they added a much bigger battery. And I feel like, uh, you know, people are struggling to make the, you know, racing to make the thinnest laptops possible. But I will trade a little bit of that for some better features, some better battery life, and I think that's a, that, that's a smart trade-off here. And you don't see too many 15-inch hybrids, so I always like big, cool stuff like this. Yeah. Um, integrated graphics in this one, or? Uh, there is there is an option where you can get um, an NVIDIA GPU, but not like oh, a super so gamery yeah. one. I think it might go up to a, nine, a 940. But if you want something a little better with graphics, um, this is my little dark horse favorite laptop of the show. This is, uh, it's not an Alienware, it's a Dell Inspiron. It's the Inspiron 15 7000. And they had one of these last year too that had an, an NVIDIA 960 GPU in it for like 800 bucks, and that was a really good deal. Well, now they've updated it. It's got a little bit of kind of gamery flair to it. It's got some like red highlights and cool vents and stuff, and it's got the, the backlit red keys, um, and they've got the NVIDIA 1050 card in it, which is NVIDIA's new card. You know, it's, it's a mainstream slash budget graphics card, but it's perfectly fine for, for regular games, and this guy, 799 it's tough to get more gaming laptop for 800 bucks than this. Right, um, and Acer has a similar model, also sporting the 1050. Mm -hmm. um, and about the same price. And so. Lenovo has their new Legion that does the same thing, and Samsung has the Odyssey that also does the same thing. They're yeah, all so like seven, eight, nine hundred dollars yeah. with that 1050 or the 1050 Ti. But if that's not enough, 
Z M R. I want you to tell me about this gigantic Speaking gaming laptop here that's a little bit more laptops. expensive. <laughs> uh, just a little bit, starting at nine thousand dollars. What? This can be all yours if you've ever wanted a, a gaming laptop that's more of a computer than a laptop. Unless you want this heavy thing on your lap, it weighs about twenty pounds. Um, it's a pretty incredible machine. Like. I'm not going to pull out my back or anything, but it's huge. And it's got a curved screen, 21 inches, uh, a trackpad that you can take off and use as a number pad, uh, five cooling fans. I mean, I could list the specs, but I'd be here all day. And the big mechanical keyboard, like the kind you only see on like standalone desktop right. keyboards, which is just crazy. Uh, yeah, this thing is massive. So you're taking that on the plane on the way home, right? Oh yeah, it's coming home <laughs> with me for sure. You might need the extra leg room seat for that, I'm, I'm just going to say. Is this the one that has two power supplies? Yes, yes it does sorry. have two power sorry. supplies because I plugged it in. I had to hunt around backstage to find two outlets <laughs> next to each other to plug it in. And this is actually actually coming out, you know, this is an almost ready to release product. Yeah. And they'll be selling this in, in stores if you have $9,000 and really want a really cool gaming laptop. A little bit further out is this guy, one of the cool concept pieces here at the show. Razer always brings a couple of cool concept PCs, prototypes. Uh, this year, this is one of the most popular things here. It's called Project Valerie, and it's a 17-inch gaming laptop based on one of their you know, current models, but the lid is really thick because inside there are two extra screens. And, and, and in, in the final version, you'd press a button or use a software command, and the extra screens would come out from either side and arrange themselves. Mm -hmm. And then you have a triple screen laptop, which I know I've never seen before. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't remember ever seeing a triple screen laptop. No. It's probably why they're crowded around it out there on the floor. That's true, they have it under glass and like, you can't get close to this thing because everyone's always, always crowding around trying to look at it. And it's got an NVIDIA uh, 1080 card in it, which is the desktop slash laptop, you know, pretty much top of the line right now. And those are, I think, three 17 inch uh, UHD displays. Uh, so that's a lot of pixels. And I actually played Battlefield 1 on there for a little bit. You know, it ran perfectly fine. Mm -hmm. Um, did they mention the likelihood of this ever coming out? Or? You know, like a lot of these concept pieces, <laughs> you never know what's actually uh, going to happen, but they do have it up and running, which, which I appreciate in a concept piece. And they have, as a, as a mirror to that, they have Project Ariana, which is the big uh, in-room projector that then right. sends you know, game images and lighting effects all around you. And we talked about all this big expensive stuff. I want to whip out one last little thing here I have in my pocket to give you something a little more budget-minded. <laughs> this is the Lenovo 500 multimedia controller, and it solves a problem that's, you know, Mar and I were talking about, what do you do if you have a computer in your living room and you want to control it, it's hooked up to your TV, like what do you do right now? I mean, I have a Bluetooth keyboard that's about this big and it's fine, but if I could use that instead, why so not? So it's a little, it's almost like a Blackberry-ish style keyboard and you can see it's got, it's got the, the QWERTY keyboard, but there's no touchpad and that's because if you just run your fingers over the keys without pressing them down, that's the touchpad. And I tried it out, one finger worked, two finger for scrolling worked. If you tap once like this, that's a left click. If you tap with two fingers, that's a right click. And you know what? I, I was dubious. I tried it out. I was like, this actually works kind of good. And this is, I think, a cooler solution than the giant laptop with the touchpad attached I keep on my lap when I'm trying to like, you know, get the stuff on my, on my home theater PC I have hooked up to the TV. And I think it's going to be like 55 bucks. Yes. I'd buy that. Yeah, right? <laughs> cool. Well, this is some of the uh, coolest laptops and, and tablets and big gaming machines and accessories we've seen uh, here at the show. And the nice thing is most of these you'll be able to go out and, and buy this year. Yeah. 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 I love how they range in practicality. Like, this is practical for a completely different person than what this is practical <laughs> for. And we've gone from like $400 to $9,000 to, to who knows how much. Yeah. All right, well, thank you, Josh Goldman. Sure. Thank you, Ziamara Blanco. Thank you, Dan And thank Ackerman. you for watching our coolest laptops of the show at CES. And then coming up at the top of the hour, we're going to join Brian Tong live from the show floor with his backpack. <laughs>